When the fate of a nation rests on the edge of a sword, two warriors stand ready to clash. One fights for redemption, the other for domination. This is the final duel of the Batusai, where ideals meet tyranny and only one will walk away. The battlefield is set on the inferno of Shishio's ironclad battleship, Rengoku, against the backdrop of a crumbling era. Kenshin Himura, once known as the feared assassin Batusai, now fights as a protector of the weak, wielding a reverse blade sword that embodies his vow never to kill again. Facing him is Shishio Makoto, the man who seeks to overthrow the government and plunge Japan into chaos, his body burned but his spirit unbroken. For Kenshin, this battle is more than just a fight for survival, it is a confrontation with his past and a test of his resolve to protect others without taking lives. Shishio, on the other hand, sees this duel as the ultimate battle to prove the supremacy of his brutal philosophy, where only the strong survive. The stakes are nothing less than the future of Japan. How does a man known for killing become a savior? And what happens when he faces a monster born from his own dark past? Meet Kenshin, the wandering swordsman seeking redemption, and Shishio, the ruthless warlord determined to drag the world into chaos. Once a deadly assassin for the imperialists during the Bakumatsu, Kenshin Himura now wanders as a Ruruni, a vagabond with a vow never to kill again. His reverse blade sword symbolizes his commitment to protecting life even as he continues to battle those who threaten peace. Kenshin's journey is one of atonement for the countless lives he took in his past, and every fight he engages in is a struggle to uphold his ideals without reverting to the killer he once was. But in Shishio Makoto, Kenshin faces a challenge unlike any other. Shishio, who succeeded Kenshin as the government's top assassin, was betrayed and burned alive by those he served. Surviving through sheer will, Shisho has emerged as a ruthless warlord, intent on using his strength to overthrow the Meiji government and reignite the flames of war. For Shisho, power is everything and mercy is a weakness. Shisho Makoto is the embodiment of the era's darkness, a man who has rejected all ideals in favor of sheer strength and survival. Burned and left for dead, Shisho's body is a testament to his iron will his skin charred and his blood boiling. He believes in the survival of the fittest and his goal is to plunge Japan into chaos so that only the strong can rise to power. To Shishio Kenshin represents the hypocrisy of the new era, a man who fights with the same skill and ferocity but refuses to kill. Shishio sees Kenshin's vow as a weakness, one that he intends to exploit in their final confrontation. This battle is not just about defeating Kenshin, it's about proving that strength and ruthlessness are the true paths to power. In the shadow of their past, two warriors prepare for a duel that will decide the future. Will redemption triumph over tyranny, or will the flames of revenge consume everything in their path? Kenshin's resolve is tested as he faces Shishio, a man who embodies everything Kenshin once was, a killer with no remorse. But Kenshin is determined to protect those he cares about without breaking his vow never to kill again. This battle will force Kenshin to confront his own limits and the possibility that he may not be able to save everyone without resorting to his old ways. Kenshin's journey has brought him to this moment where he must not only fight for his friends and the future of Japan but also for his own soul. The tension builds as Kenshin prepares to face an enemy who knows his every move and is prepared to exploit any weakness. Shisho's plan is clear, to defeat Kenshin and use his victory as a symbol of his power, rallying others to his cause and overthrowing the government. Shisho's confidence is unshakable, bolstered by his belief that Kenshin's refusal to kill makes him weak. The tension escalates as Shisho prepares to unleash his full strength knowing that only one of them will walk away from this battle. The tension reaches its peak as Kenshin and Shishio stand on the deck of the Rengoku, the flames of the burning battleship reflecting the inner turmoil of both warriors. Kenshin's ideals clash with Shishio's ruthless pragmatism, creating an atmosphere charged with anticipation and dread. The stakes could not be higher, the fate of a nation hangs in the balance. When the blades are drawn, there's no turning back. The final duel begins. Will it be the strength of ideals or the brutality of tyranny that claims victory? The battle begins with a fierce exchange of blows. 
both warriors displaying incredible speed and skill. Kenshin's Hiten Mitsurugi Ryu style, designed for swift and powerful strikes, clashes with Shishio's ferocious attacks. Fueled by sheer willpower and hatred, the intensity of the battle is palpable, each strike carrying the weight of their conflicting philosophies. Shishio is relentless, pushing Kenshin to his limits and forcing him to confront the reality of his vow never to kill. As the battle rages on, Kenshin's resolve is tested with every blow, and he begins to question whether he can truly defeat Shishio without breaking his oath. As the battle intensifies, Kenshin is forced to confront his own doubts and fears. Shishio's taunts cut deep, challenging Kenshin's belief that he can protect others without taking lives. The internal struggle becomes as intense as the physical battle, with Kenshin questioning whether his ideals are enough to overcome the sheer brutality of Shishio. Kenshin's past haunts him as he fights, the memories of his time as Batusai surfacing with every strike. He knows that reverting to his old ways would make him no better than Shishio, but the pressure to protect those he loves without killing weighs heavily on him. Shishio's attacks are unyielding, each strike designed to break Kenshin's spirit as much as his body. Shishio's philosophy is clear, only the strong survive and mercy is a weakness. He pushes Kenshin to the brink, exploiting every weakness and forcing Kenshin to fight with everything he has to survive. The battle between Kenshin and Shishio becomes a test of wills as much as a test of skill. Shishio's relentless assault threatens to overwhelm Kenshin, but the former assassin refuses to give in. The tension reaches its peak as both warriors push themselves beyond their limits, knowing that the outcome will determine the future of Japan. 5. As the battle rages on, the line between hero and killer begins to blur. Can Kenshin hold on to his vow, or will Shishio's brutality force him to cross the line? Despite being pushed to his limits, Kenshin's determination remains unbroken. He knows that giving in to Shishio's philosophy would mean abandoning everything he has fought for. The intensity of the battle is reflected in Kenshin's unyielding resolve, even as he faces an opponent who seems unstoppable. The music swells with powerful dramatic orchestral tones as Kenshin summons every ounce of strength to continue the fight. His determination to protect those he loves without killing fuels his every move, even as Shishio's relentless attacks threaten to break him. Shishio's strength seems to grow with every passing moment, his body pushed to the brink of combustion as he unleashes his full power. The flames that surround the battlefield mirror the inferno within Shishio, a man who has embraced the darkness of his past and seeks to drag the world into chaos. The dark, ominous orchestral music accompanying Shishio's attacks captures the sheer brutality of his philosophy. As the battle reaches its climax, Shishio's overwhelming power threatens to consume everything in its path, leaving Kenshin with no choice but to confront the possibility that his vow may not be enough to save those he cares about. In the face of Shishio's overwhelming power, Kenshin makes a final stand. The emotional intensity of this moment is underscored by a swelling orchestral score that captures Kenshin's resolve to protect his ideals even if it means sacrificing himself. The battle between Kenshin and Shishio becomes a battle not just for survival but for the future of Japan. The tension reaches its peak as Kenshin unleashes his ultimate technique the Amakakuru Ryu no Hirameki, in a desperate bid to defeat Shishio without killing him. The stakes could not be higher, as Kenshin's victory hinges on his ability to uphold his vow while overcoming an enemy who embodies everything he once was. When the dust settles, only one will stand. Will it be the man seeking redemption or the monster fueled by revenge? The final moment of truth is here. As the final clash between Kenshin and Shishio unfolds, Kenshin's resolve and skill are pushed to their absolute limits. The Amakakuru Ryu no Hirameki proves to be the deciding factor, as its sheer speed and power catch Shishio off guard, delivering a blow that even the indomitable warlord cannot withstand. The music shifts to a triumphant yet somber tone, reflecting the bittersweet victory. Kenshin stands victorious not because he was the stronger fighter, but because his resolve to protect life without taking it gave him the strength to overcome Shishio's brutality. Shishio's defeat is a moment of tragic finality. Despite his overwhelming power and unbreakable will, he is brought down by the very thing he underestimated. 
Kenshin's unwavering commitment to his ideals. As Shisho's body finally succumbs to the damage it has sustained, he acknowledges Kenshin's strength even as he refuses to renounce his own beliefs. The music during this scene should be somber and reflective, capturing the gravity of Shisho's defeat and the end of his reign of terror. Shisho's fall marks the end of an era, but it also serves as a reminder of the darkness that still lingers in the world. In the aftermath of the battle, the flames of the Rengoku die down and the survivors begin to rebuild. Kenshin, though victorious, is left to reflect on the cost of the battle and the path he has chosen. The music should convey a sense of bittersweet resolution, acknowledging both the triumph and the loss that came with it. Kenshin's journey is far from over, but the battle with Shisho has solidified his resolve to continue fighting for peace and justice without sacrificing his humanity. The final moments should leave the audience with a sense of hope and determination as Kenshin prepares to face whatever challenges lie ahead. The final duel has ended, but the journey of the Batusai continues. In the face of overwhelming odds, one man's resolve to protect life has triumphed over tyranny. But as the shadows of the past linger, the question remains, can Kenshin truly escape the darkness within? In the end, Kenshin's victory is not just a triumph of skill, but a testament to his unwavering belief in his ideals. Kenshin has proven that, even in a world filled with darkness, it is possible to protect others without sacrificing one's humanity. The music during this scene should be uplifting and triumphant, reflecting Kenshin's determination to continue fighting for what he believes in. Despite the hardships that lie ahead, Kenshin's resolve is unshakable and he is ready to face whatever challenges come his way. As Shisho's reign of terror comes to an end, the question of his legacy remains. The music should convey a sense of reflection and uncertainty as the characters ponder the impact of Shisho's actions and the darkness that still threatens the peace Kenshin has fought so hard to protect. The battle between Kenshin and Shishio was not just a physical confrontation, but a clash of ideologies that will have a lasting impact on the future of Japan. Kenshin's victory was not just a triumph of strength, but a testament to the power of determination and resolve in overcoming the darkness of the past. The music during this final reflection should leave the audience with a sense of hope and determination as Kenshin prepares to face the challenges of the future. The battle may be over, but the journey of the Batusai is far from complete, and Kenshin is ready to continue on the path he has chosen.